Shalom and welcome to OCN, your favorite 24-hour Christian television station. My name is Minister Catherine. I'm your host for the program called Global Missions. And today I have my bishop with me. Thank you, bishop, for joining Praise me this God. program. So happy to join you. Amen, amen. But before we continue with the programming, I want to start with a prayer. Heavenly Father, I just want to thank you for this opportunity to be used by you through this medium to minister to the people wherever they are watching at this time. It could be night, morning, or in the afternoon, wherever you are. And I know it's not an accident or coincidence that you're watching this programming right now because the Lord has a special word for you today. Mm -hmm. And I'm just honored to be, to be used by Him that you will not see me, but you'll see Jesus in me as amen. I share the word with you today. Amen. In Jesus' name, I amen. amen. And today we're actually going to talk about giving from the heart. Amen. amen. It's a subject that's really dear to my heart. Amen. And I know that it works. You know, as a human being, like if before you know Christ, mm -hmm. it's our nature to be us, our behavior. Like when we do good things, you know that it will come back to us as well. Mm -hmm. Like you're sowing a seed, when you're sowing a seed of kindness, mm -hmm. you know that kindness is going back to you as well. Not, it doesn't have to be to you directly. It could be to your family members mm -hmm. or whatever it may be. If you sow some kind of something bad that is not the will of God, or that's not really, that's, I w I w let's just say ugly things. <laughs> ugly things will come back to you, and I don't think you want that. Anything that you, s you do, anything that you do, your behavior, the way you talk, the way you treat people, good or bad, it's all, it, all, it will always come back to you. Whatever you sow, mm -hmm. you will reap. Mm -hmm. If you reap goodness, I mean, if you sow goodness, goodness will come back to you. Amen. If you sow, uh, I don't even want to speak it out because mm -hmm. I don't want you to do it because mm -hmm. I want you to benefit mm -hmm. what the Lord has for you. Amen. 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 Bishop, do you have anything to say? You know, about you, that? you just made a profound statement. That's a principle. Amen. Everything we do in life is a seed. Amen. It's a principle. Amen. And you don't even have to be a Christian mm -hmm. to, uh, to partake of that principle. Amen. It's something we do every day. Amen. Anything, whatever you do, is a seed, and the seed will always germinate. Amen. You know, <laughs> the, the <laughs> Bible talks about it is, it is the earth is full of seed. Amen. All that pertain to the earth is all seed. And seed time and harvest time will surely remain as long as this earth remains. Amen. And so are uh, you talking about giving from the heart? I, I want you to go ahead and get started. Okay. And I know you have a whole lot to cover. <laughs> yes, Bishop. So my scripture right now, one of my foundational scriptures is on Galatians 6. Jack, can you put it on the screen, please? It's on Galatians 6, uh, verses 7 to 8. I'm using the New King James Version, and you can read it with me, read along with me from the screen. And it says, Do not be deceived. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. For he who sows to his flesh will of the flesh reap corruption, but he who sows to the Spirit will of the Spirit reap everlasting life. Amen. 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 This scripture is very, very powerful, mm -hmm. profound. Like my um, introduction about everything we do, we're sowing a seed, right? Mm -hmm. And it's here in the scripture. It says, uh, for whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. Yes. So, like I said, an example, if you're sowing a seed of kindness, you will also reap kindness. If you're sowing uh, ugly things, <laughs> that is not 
godly, mm -hmm. you will also reap that. Mm -hmm. And which one would you benefit from? The goodness of God or that is not of God, <coughs> right? Mm -hmm. So it's best that you, you as a child of God, you do the right thing. And nobody can force you to do the right thing unless your heart and your eyes of understanding is illuminated about you know, these things of God. Amen. Minister Catherine, I love that verse 7. It said, don't be deceived. <laughs> 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 you may think you're deceiving anyone. God is not mocked. For whatever a man sows, that he will also reap. It says, whatever. <laughs> whatever you sow. And it tells us, don't be deceived. God searches the heart. Amen. Amen. So you can deceive people, <laughs> but you can deceive God. Amen. Amen. And, and today we're dealing with giving from the heart. Amen. You know, the real you is, the core you is really your spirit mm -hmm. man. Let, let's go back to that verse 7. Amen. You know, do not yeah. be deceived. Do not be deceived. God is, is not, not mocked. mocked. <laughs> okay. <laughs> like Minister Catherine, like you're saying, if you are kind to people without ulterior motive, <laughs> you're going to reap it. Amen. Okay? Amen. Some Amen. people do nice things to people, but they have ulterior <laughs> motive because they want to get something. <laughs> okay, so you can deceive people, but you cannot deceive God. That's right. And He's the one that will pay back. <laughs> he will, he's the one that will touch people's hearts. Amen. Amen. To, to be nice to you. Amen. So Amen. when you are doing anything in life, know it's a seed. Amen. And so you're going to go for. You know what? I have a scripture. In Genesis chapter 8, I'm going to read it. I, I know you don't have it on your screen. It says, Amen. While the earth. Remaineth, seed time and, and harvest, harvest and cold yeah. and heat <laughs> and summer, summer and, and winter, winter and day, day and, and night, night. will not shall not, not cease. Seed time and, and, and harvest. harvest. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> it's a principle. <laughs> amen. Amen. So even before you gave your life to Christ. Mm -hmm. There are things that you do and you will see the benefits or you will reap the harvest when you're doing those things. And harvests are always bigger than seed. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> and let's just say, I said giving from the heart, right? Giving. So let's just say you're a child of God and you prayed for a job. You came to church. You said, Lord... You were jobless. You were looking for employment. And you came to church, and the Lord answered your prayer. Mm. Right? Mm. So you got a job. And then you started working. You have all this busy schedule. You start making money. And then you forgot that the Lord gave you that job. Mm. Right? So you're working, working, working nonstop. You stop going to church because the Lord answered your prayer. Mm -hmm. Right? So you let's just say after a year you make all that money, you forgot to give your tithes, your offerings, Ooh. special offerings. Mm. After one year mm. of working nonstop because you wanted to make that money, you got sick. Mm. And then you remember the Lord. Mm. Said, Lord, heal me. I work so much. Why why do I suddenly get sick? Mm. And all that money that you've earned, mm. you're losing them. Mm. Because you're paying them for your health care, maybe you're hospitalized, you're mm. sick, you're paying for medication. Mm. So everything that you have worked for mm. is gone, mm. nothing. Let's just reverse it for another situation. Mm. Another, another situation, okay, you were jobless, you were unemployed, you came to church, the Lord gave you the job, right? Mm -hmm. And then you started working, Maybe let's just say you're only making minimum wage. Mm. But you have a grateful heart. Amen. I said, Lord, thank you for giving me this job. Amen. And you still have that time to come to church mm -hmm. on Sundays or the days that you really like, okay, Lord, this Sunday I need to go to church. Mm -hmm. I need to get favor from my employer that I need to take off this day mm -hmm. because this is the, the day that I de dedicated to have fellowship 
with my brothers and sisters in Christ. And I want to hear the words, feed my spirit. So you continue to do that. Thank God you're making all that m minimum wage. And then after three months, the Lord has promoted you. Amen. And you still get, you started giving your tithes. Amen. Maybe at the beginning, your first, the check. first check is not a lot. Mm -hmm. But you actually remembered, I want to use this first check. I want to use it as my first, first fruit. fruit. Amen. So I gave it to the Lord. I gave it to the, the kingdom of God. I know I don't have that money, but I said, I obeyed the Lord. This is my first fruit. Amen. And the Lord started increasing you. You give your um, tithes, you give your special offering, your seed, whatever it is. Amen. But you have that grateful heart. You yes. sowed. So see the consequences. The one who, okay, the same person, maybe, I mean, two people came at the same time. Both of them were unemployed. They prayed and asked the Lord to give them jobs. Mm -hmm. One of the Lord answered their prayers. One of them, once they got the job, started making money, forgot mm -hmm. about the, the Lord. He said, okay, it's, I got this because it's me. It's not the Lord. Mm. It's because I'm educated. I have this. I have experience. Yeah, that's why I get this. I'm making all this money. Mm. But that the other one is really grateful that the remembered Amen. that it was the Lord who provided that person the employment and that money. Amen. And promoted, the, the Lord promoted that person as well. And give that person more money. So, who do you want to be? The one who has forgotten about the Lord after he mm. or she received the blessing? Or do you want to be that person who grateful heart. has a grateful heart? Amen. And remembered and went back to church and were, and gave the first fruit and got more blessings and being promoted and more and more and more. Amen. Well, the other one has to start from the beginning again mm. because that person realized that after one year of working, it was nothing. And then he, that person also remembered the Lord. Okay, Lord, I'm sick now. What do I do now? Where am I going to get the money from? Right? And he, that person repented and remembered, okay, it was the Lord who gave me the job. I need to give time for him as well. Not just work, work, work. Just because I, the Lord answered my prayer, but the word says, do not be deceived. God is not, not mocked. mocked. For whatever a man sows, he that shall he reap. will reap. That's right. Amen. So, as a child of God, I pray that the Lord will open your eyes of understanding about sowing a seed in his kingdom. Amen. And you can never outgive God. Amen. You have to release what you have in your hand. Amen. You give it, the Lord will replenish it. And more and more. It's not just what you have sown. Can't remember if it's a, it's a version. I mean, there's a verse in the Bible that says something about he will rebuild the devourer. That, that the again. Malachi three. You want to read that? Is one? It the Malachi three? No, it's the one about. Can we? Okay. 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 You, you know what? We can use this one. Second Corinthians nine. But this I say: He who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly sparingly and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully so let each one give as he purposes in his heart not grudgingly or of necessity for god loves a cheerful giver that's a good one mm -hmm. is there another verse oh so legally let me see mm -hmm. is there another Use your hand okay. yeah there you go and God is, oh, here it is, and God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you always having all sufficiency in all things may have abundance for yes. every good work. Jack, it's the next um, slide. slide. Mm -hmm. And God is able to make all grace abound toward you, that you always having all su sufficiency in all things may have an abundance for every good work. 
Amen. Amen. That grace there is unmerited favor, unearned, undeserving. And this verse applies when you do 6 and 7. So let's go back to that 6 and 7. But this I say, he who, he sows. who sows sparingly will also reap sparingly. And he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, for God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. 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 <laughs> mm -hmm. The key here is what? Cheerful giver. Sowing bountifully, you will also reap bountifully. So whatever you give, that's what you're going to reap, right? Amen. In your heart. In your heart. Amen. You just don't give because, oh, I have excess in my finances, in my bank account. So that's the only time I give. So if I don't have anything, I won't give. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not true. Mm -mm. <laughs> when the Lord touches your heart to sow in his kingdom, be sensitive and be obedient. It's better to obey amen then sacrifices you have to obey when the lord said to give you release what you have in your hand amen it's in the word i'm not telling you this it's 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 coming from the bible amen amen, amen. it's here it's telling you you have but this i say he who sows is sparingly will also reap sparingly, and he who sows bountifully will also reap bountifully. So let each one give as he purposes in his heart, not grudgingly or of necessity, but for God loves a cheerful giver. Amen. So, you know, many believers think that if I make a million dollars or more, mm -hmm. That's the only time I can support the ministry, the church. You have all this if, mm -hmm. then, if, then. <laughs> the Lord is not looking at your bank account. <laughs> the heart. He's looking at your heart. Mm -hmm. When you give. Remember there's um, a woman in... Is it a widow in the Bible who gave the might bishop? Was it a widow? That, that was the a, woman? yeah, she gave a might. A might. Mm -hmm. And she, the Lord said she was the one who gave the most. Because mm -hmm, mm -hmm. it came from her heart. Mm -hmm. And that's all she has and she gave it all. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. So, remember that. You don't have to have a million dollars, a thousand dollars to give. Mm -hmm. The Lord is not looking at your bank account or yeah. what you have. Or what, how much you have in your pocket. Yeah. The Lord looks at your heart. When he sees that you have a cheerful heart, you wanted to give. Amen. Not because you have a lot of money. Mm -hmm. And you know when you make all this money and you hear all this, the, the whisper from the enemy, like, why are you giving this? You know you have this rent to pay, this is due. Why you have to give to the church? Why are you giving your tithes? Why are you giving your offering? That's <laughs> why it has to be of the heart. Amen. Because amen. Because your heart will <laughs> pick up what God is saying. Amen. You know, you talked about the uh, the poor widow. It, it's in Mark chapter 12. Amen. I want to read it. Can we put in uh, the address so people that are being touched right now, they want to give and they want to donate to OCN. Let's just leave that address on the screen. Amen. It says in Mark chapter 12 verse 42. Then one poor widow came and threw in two mites, mm. which make a quadrants. So he called his disciples, that's Yeshua. He called his disciples to himself and said to them, Assuredly, I said to you that this poor widow has put in more than all those who have given to the treasury. For they all put in out of their abundance. That's verse 44. But she, out of her poverty, put in all that she had, her whole livelihood. Mm -hmm. 
So one thing here is Jesus was able to know what she put in. That's so it's right. okay for Amen. people to know Amen. <laughs> what you are donating. It's okay. Amen. And we have the address right there on the screen. We are asking you to donate Amen. to the work of God. Amen. Uh, this program is called Global, Global Missions. Missions. Amen. Actually, we're going to Philippines next month yes we are so your donation will help us tremendously Amen. it is ocn and the p.o box is 45 465 los angeles california 90045 when Amen. you donate i want you to let us know what your prayer request is so we can Amen. come into agreement with you Amen. we believe in the power of prayer of agreement Amen. but this poor widow gave everything Amen. And Jesus knew how much she, she gave. Amen. And then said that she gave out of, out of not even having. Actually, it says mm -hmm. out of her poverty. Amen. And she put in all <laughs> she had. Today, people will say, well, you know, you're cheating somebody when you tell them to give all they have. <laughs> but, <laughs> but Yeshua used this amen. as an example. Amen, amen. So you, you can never outgive God, but amen. it comes from giving from the heart. Amen, amen, amen. Except, you know, the time is too short. We're almost out of time. Oh, We've got like we need a to pray minute for the left. People. Yes, so, amen. So before we end this programming, I want to pray for everyone who's watching this program right now. Lord, I pray that whoever is watching this programming right now, that you touch their heart to give. Not because they have in, they're in abundance, but because they needed something from you, Lord. Amen. They have something that they've been praying for, and they don't know what if, if that ever is going to happen to them. Whatever it is, Lord, let touch their hearts, Lord, to give and sow for your <laughs> kingdom, Lord, especially in OCN. My Father, in the name of Jesus, that whatever that need is, that this is the key, and the Lord will open the doors for them, Lord, for whatever it is, Lord, that they're praying for. The key is their heart. It has to come from their heart to sow the seed to give to your kingdom, my Father, in the name of Jesus, especially in OCN, my Father, in the name, in the name of Jesus. This is a good ground. Lord, touch their hearts, Lord. That's all my prayer for whoever is watching this programming, Lord. Touch their hearts that they will give. And the Lord will answer their prayer. And whatever it is, that their lives will never be the same because Amen. they gave. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Bishop, do you want to say something before we end the program? Well, as you give, we just read in the scripture, grace of God will abound. Amen. And you will be so amazed how the grace of God will be multiplied Amen. in your life. And we're expecting to hear from you. Amen. 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 Thank you for watching OCN and Global Missions. Shalom.